An accused killer won't be getting what she wants, at least for now. The Bible belonging to so-called killer nurse Janine Jones will stay with prosecutors. It's the latest in the run-up to Jones's pending trial for the deaths of five children who died under mysterious circumstances at area hospitals where she worked as a nurse in the 1980s. Garrett Berger takes us inside this decision. Back in court today, Janine Jones wanted her personal Bible back with her. State has made no showing that it has any evidentiary value to them in their case. Jones's Bible was seized during her time in prison for killing a Kerrville girl in 1982. Now facing more murder charges, prosecutors have indicated the Bible with its notations inside could be evidence. The Bible contains writings in the handwriting of Janine Jones, which it can be tantamount to statements of Janine Jones. Jones's attorney argues it's a personal item and brought up its appearance in a KSAT story in September. If it was or is that, then they would not show it or should not show it or into practical judgment. The judge denied the defense's request to get the Bible back at this time, but did order both sides not to show any potential evidence to the media. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you you can't speak to the media, but I have other avenues that if it's other evidence is shown to the violation of this order, when it comes to trial, I may or may not include that evidence if it's uh, violated after today. Okay. Jones's attorney says it looks like the case is headed for a trial date in February. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.